everybody, this is the moment you have been waiting on. I know a lot of people is pissed off and a lot of people think that I run away with their money, please. I'd be like O.J. Simpson trying to run away. That's why he's going to run away with people's money. This is what happened. <clears throat> because I'm aiming for perfection, I went through several boards uh -huh. just to get it perfect. So when I deliver the unit, everybody will get a good unit. Right now I'm in a test mode and it's up to me personally how I do a next board. Each time I do a board, it's costing me, so I have no in gain in keep making boards. The only reason why I keep making the boards is because I'm aiming for perfection. Now, I'm going to give you all a test run of the reverb, and then I'm going to get into the different features on it afterwards. So, let's run the track. I, I demonstrate reverb. Nobody notice with a Fisher reverb, you keep your name and all of that. So, what we have in here, we have double springs. This, this is a double spring unit. Double spring unit, um, <clears throat> transformer. Part of the original problem was DigiKey um, specs on this transformer, Brian. Mm -hmm this transformer here was was the wrong transformer mm. so we had was uh, we had was to go through that question process and digikey um corrected the database that that caused us not to buy the right transformer and um we have features here where you can do um you can switch a switch here for people in the uk and they switch over to, to 220 volts and for us residents use it you can switch it to 110 volts uh, we're going to be checking out the filter section now. And all this is just preliminary test that I can test everything before I really deliver everything. I make the full mass productions. I'm thanking everybody for the patient. I'm just trying to deliver a good product. And part of the reason that if I got through discovery now and if there's something I'm not pleased with, I have to wait until 6 o'clock this evening to start talking to China that whatever I might not be pleased with. You know, if I was doing them here in California, we're on time zone, then it might have been a little bit different. So, um, but once we get everything just the way we want it and I go and do a new bill of material, the precise lens of everything, then um, it's just like taking a photograph and making a, cop a copy after that point. So I'm thanking everybody for the patience. Yes, so, yeah, so now we're testing the filter section and it's just so all y'all can hear it. On band pass. Low pass. There you go. When you develop a board, right, even though ever, anything verify in the electronic workbench, you find that if they load the wrong part number into the data, with the machine that going to do the hand placement for any reason the wrong the, the wrong data get put into the to, into the placement machine you find it could result into an error and then we have to send back the board for them to correct so um, <clears throat> one of the errors that happened with this board this voltage regulator I see um, the part number that they had in the database was showing the wrong index 
and it got put in in the reverse and I had was to go through the process and send it back to them. So, so now that everything is coming in and I'm getting the test, I'm getting the test, I'm just trying to verify that everything is working correctly before I start mailing out. And when you get it, you are going to get a reliable, good working unit. So thank everybody again for the patience.